Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to freeze tracks in Reaper. Now, the idea of freezing tracks is similar to rendering tracks, in that you're going to free up DSP or CPU usage by printing effects or plugins that are on our tracks. Now, this will work with any type of track, whether it be audio, video, effects returns, or even MIDI with virtual instrument plugins on those tracks. Now using it for virtual instruments is probably the most common way you're gonna use this. So in this video, that's how we're gonna do it. But just know that everything we do in this video is gonna to apply to any effects or plugins on your tracks. So the project in front of us here with a bunch of drum tracks. We have a kick, a snare, a hi-hat, and a crash or splash. Now each track has a virtual instrument plugin on there. Let's take a look at the snare track. If we open it up from here, we can see we're using contact as a virtual instrument plugin to trigger the snare sound. If we solo it, we hear the snare, which is being triggered by this plugin. But we also have a few other plugins on this track. We have a compressor, and an EQ. So if we wanted to save some DSP or CPU usage, we could freeze this track. There's a few different ways of doing this. One way is to select the track, go to our menu on the track, and go down here to render freeze tracks, and choose it over here. We could freeze tracks to mono, stereo, or multi-channel. Now the snare track is stereo, so we're gonna choose that one. So if we choose it, it renders it to audio. And if we look in the track effects over here, we see there's nothing there because the effects have been printed or frozen onto the track. It's still gonna sound the same. But now we save DSP or CPU usage on that track. And the benefit of that is at any point, we can unfreeze it. So if we freeze all these tracks, let's say we have hundreds of them in a very big project, we could freeze them to save CPU. And then if we wanna make changes, we could unfreeze them. A great use for this is let's say the client loves the song that you produced, but they wanna change the key. Now you've already frozen all your tracks. You could just unfreeze them, change the key, and freeze them again. So let me show you how to unfreeze it. Select the track again, go to the same menu, but this time go down here to unfreeze tracks. And if we do that, it turns the track back into MIDI and it reinstalls all your effects. As you can see right here, the virtual instrument plugin, the compressor and the EQ. We could also do it by right-clicking the track. Right over here, go to Render Freeze, and down here, we can freeze our tracks. And at any point, we want to go back to the original and re-edit the part or change the sound, just right-click it and unfreeze the track. And it goes back to where we started. Now, doing it this way, is not very flexible because we're freezing the entire track with all the effects. There might be situations where we just wanna freeze some of the effects, keeping some plugins or effects where we can still adjust them. But we can do that. Let's open it back up. Here are the plugins. Let's say we just wanted to freeze the virtual instrument plugin. Just right click it, go to freeze track, and choose these options over here. Freeze track to stereo up to last selected effects. And we're selecting just this one. So it's only gonna freeze this effect. These other two will stay unfrozen. So we can still edit them 
without unfreezing the track. So let's do that. Go right here, freeze track to stereo, up to last selected effects, and it just froze the first plugin, not these two. So now, this is still audio, but if we want to go back and adjust the compressor or the EQ, we can still do that right here. We don't have to unfreeze it. And if we do unfreeze it, from here, the virtual instrument plugin comes back or becomes unfrozen. So we can go back to editing it right here. And we can do the same thing for a few plugins. Let's say we wanted to freeze the virtual instrument plugin and the compressor, but we wanted to keep the EQ unfrozen. We just select this one, right click it, go to freeze tracks, freeze track to stereo up to last selected effects, and it's going to freeze just those two effects the virtual instrument plugin and the compressor, but we can still edit our EQ. Now we could also see the details of our frozen tracks. Let's freeze all these tracks to stereo. Now they're all frozen. If we go to the action list and type in freeze track in the filter, there's an option here to show track freeze details. So if we choose this, this dialog pops up. So now if we select any track that we froze, like our kick, we can see the plugins that are frozen. The contact, the compressor, and the EQ. And the same with the snare, or the hi-hat, or the splash. So it's a great way of seeing what plugins or effects are frozen without having to unfreeze them. It's pretty handy. Now there's one other thing I should show you. We can also stack our freezing. So right now, our snare is frozen. There's no effect on here. See, it's empty. But we could add effects on top of it. Let's add a gate to this. And we could adjust our gate right here. Adjust the attack, the hold, the release. And if we're happy with this, and we want to freeze this effect too, right click. Freeze track to stereo, and it freezes that one as well. Now, if you want to unfreeze it, just right click, unfreeze tracks, and it brings back just the gate, because that's the last thing we froze. But now we can unfreeze it again to get back the other effects. Unfreeze track, and those first three come back. Contact, the compressor, and the EQ. And we still have the gate on the track as well. So it's very flexible as we can freeze in layers and obviously unfreeze in layers as well. So that's pretty much it. That's freezing tracks in Reaper. It's a great way of freeing up our DSP or our CPU usage and getting the most out of Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom!